So Johnny Sexton kicks off for Ireland. And it's Ali Price in possession straight away. The Glasgow scrum half. And here is Jamison Gibson Park to Johnny Sexton. Beautiful hands from Tyg Byrne, who was player of the match in Italy. James Lowe inside. Here's Sexton. Didn't quite have the pace to get away. And Sam Johnson did really well to haul him down by the coattails. Can the Scots hold out here? Kane Healy now. He goes for the line. Remember this Scottish side's defence is much vaunted. Steve Tandy has taken charge of that aspect of the game. But this is looking ominous for Scotland early doors. Might have to wait quite a while for his 100th sextant. But Ireland do take the lead. You say Scotland will be pretty relieved to get away with just conceding the three points there. And yeah, Lowe, a former chief against Maitland, a former crusader. <laughs> Well, Johnny Gray was supposed to be in the end of that, and that's maybe an example of what Paul O'Connell can do. The Irish defensive line-out has been superb. That's their ninth steal in the competition. Here's Sexton. There's a lot of height on that. It will test the Scottish captain, and Hogg couldn't get hold of it. It's a knock-on Irish advantage. They're trying to desperately clear that ball out. Scotland put hands on the ball. Here come Ireland again through... The inevitable CJ Stander. Gibson Park, it's all Ireland. Johnny Sexton for Keith Earls to chase. It's a huge in goal area here at Murrayfield. Can Ireland get their hands to the ball through Robbie Henshaw? And is that the opening try of the game? So much pressure there put on the Scottish defence aerially. And Ireland might well have scored the try. It's confirmed by Poit. Scotland come out to charge fast, and it may have been enough just to slightly unsettle Sexton. And Ireland again have the ball back. Just can't retain possession. Oh, oh Furlong, the sidestep from the tight head. And Ireland might be away here, but that was a poor pass. Gave the Scottish defence just half a second to reset. And at this level, that's all you need. They ended up breaking down that attack, but some brilliant stuff in there. Phil Bennett's put on a bit of weight. Stolen by Blue. <laughs> this time it's Scotland's turn to do damage. Missed the conversion. But can he keep this very solid run going? He can. Johnny Sexton, much better strike. The choir and the conductor and the orchestra all in one in making this Scotland team tick, particularly in possession. I think he's matured a lot, in all honesty, over the past 12 months. And he's made up with Gregor Townsend just as importantly. Here's uh, Ring Rose. Well, he loved the strike, Johnny Saxton. Kicking tee was kicked up straight away, so after a rumbustious and highly entertaining first half, it's Andy Farrell's Ireland who are in the lead. Please blue, white, green as well. Herring, good climb and take by Ty Byrne. Scotland did compete in the air, both sides of competed hard on each other's line out here goes Herring for Johnny Sexton, little check from the 35 year old Russell Jumping across. Herring, it's Ryan who climbs really high there and in come a whole load of green Irish boulders and Scotland have managed to bring that, that mall down and they brought it down quickly so here's Henderson Good defence by Scotland. Steve Tandy's done an amazing job with this Scotland rear guard. Defence and again on the angle on the line. At pace with power. Ty Byrne gets the latch on. Drives for that Scottish line. Hamish Watson does his utmost to get underneath that ball for Scotland. But he can't quite do enough. And Tag Burn adds to his tally of Irish scores. The Murrayfield uprights. Gibson Park. And the path was attempted to be blocked there by Finn Russell. Set. Free kick to Scotland. Ali Price wants to get this shifting quickly. 
which he does, and he finds Sam Johnson. Gibson Park, Ringrose pulls it back for Sexton. James Lowe for Keith Earls. Gets a little handoff in, pumps away a Scottish defender. Who's there? It was a good set piece strike, but Ireland now have the opportunity to build one of the malls again. Oh, missed opportunity though. Decisions come on. As Ireland headed towards a grand slam. Is he going to do the same kind of thing here to Scotland? Oh, yes, he is. Ireland edge ahead. Is that the kick that wins this Six Nations game in Edinburgh? Stay on the line. Scored six tries against Italy, but that's... Please. Or seven tries. That's pretty much level par against the Italians based on the other results. It's about oh. beating nations like, like Scotland, like Wales, like England, like France. It'll be yet oh. another defeat Rockets against the on. Irish. They've had so many in recent times. Add this one to the list in the tightest of games, in the most exciting of games. It's Ireland who have come away from home.